One more young life has been lost to the dispute in the Florida rap scene. Recently, 26-year-old Julio Fulio was shot and killed while having a birthday celebration. It was a similar scenario to the Pop Smoke shooting, as Fulio posted his location to his story just hours before the shooting took place. Everyone is wondering who is behind it, and Youngin Ace appears to be the primary suspect following his diss track and some deleted posts that everyone is talking about. As the same day the shooting went down, Youngin Ace posted in a now-deleted tweet, that boy going back the same day he came in. And this captured the attention of the entire internet with various posts like, LOL they snitch on themselves. All these dudes incriminating themselves on social media. This is the culture y'all be talking about. This tragic incident deepens the terrible history of his notorious rivalry with fellow Florida rapper Youngin Ace. There are rumors circulating that Youngin is currently on the run following what appears to be a song in which he boasts of ordering the hit on Fulio. Just hours after Fulio passed away, Youngin shocked everyone by releasing a new diss track called Do It, and posting a tweet that seemed to make fun of Fulio's passing. The two rappers and their respective crew's aces, ATK and Fulio's KTA, have a long-standing rivalry that is evidenced by this most recent tragedy. Additionally, Fulio and Youngin have both lost brothers and other friends and family members as a result of their rivalry. And now that Fulio has passed away, federal authorities are apparently focused on Youngin Ace in relation to this tragedy. A sad reality of the situation that fans are talking about was in a previous interview when Fulio stated he isn't even scared of death and has accepted the likelihood of it because of his beefs and that he thinks about it every day. I think about death every day. In what ways? Like, I could die today, uh, I could lose one of my dogs today, uh, I could lose a family member today. Uh, shit can get real today. Are you afraid of it? Mm -mm. Why not? Some people are. Like, I don't have been shot before and shit. So, I don't have seen that a couple times, but it's just in. It, no matter who you is, bro, anybody could die. You could die wherever, whenever, however. No matter who you is, how nice you is, how mean you is, bro. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Four individuals were shot during the confrontation outside the hotel, including Fulio, whose true identity was Charles Jones, according to confirmation from the Tampa Police Department provided to 2XL Magazine. According to a statement from the TPD, at around 4.40 a.m., Tampa police got a 911 call regarding a gunshot at 11606 McKinley Drive. Three other victims are now receiving hospital treatment, while one individual was pronounced deceased. The statement continued by saying, Police are investigating what led up to the incident and working to identify those involved. This is an active investigation. Additional information will be released when available. Fulio was celebrating his 26th birthday and was staying at an Airbnb when the host kicked him out for having too many guests. Sadly, Fulio and his friends shared this new location on social media, and according to Fulio's attorney, Fulio was ambushed at the Holiday Inn Hotel, where he rented a room after being kicked out of the Airbnb. This information was provided to News 4 Jax by Louis Fusco. If you're not aware with Fulio's background, he was a rising talent in the rap scene who was born in Jacksonville, Florida. He had a sizable social media following, with over 600,000 subscribers to his YouTube channel and over a million Instagram followers. However, Fulio was also well known for his intense public battle with Youngin Ace, another rapper from Florida. This dispute sprang from a long-standing rivalry between the two crews, Fulio's KTA and Ace's ATK. The long-brewing hostility between the two crews resulted in a number of catastrophic incidents. When Fulio's 17-year-old cousin, Zian Brown, was targeted in 2017, and shortly after Dontre Thomas, an associate of Youngin Ace, were charged, the two groups' animosity dramatically increased. More pointless deaths occurred between 2018 and 2021 as a result of this incident, which started in June 2018 when Youngin Ace was the target of a drive-by that claimed the lives of his brother Trevin Bullard and two other people. Youngin Ace took eight hits before surviving. 
Additionally, the fact that Fulio appeared to be celebrating Young Gein's brother's murder on social media fueled even more animosity between these two factions. Now, fast forward to March 2021, when Young Gein Ace, Spina Benz, Wupa Wita Chupa, and Fast Money Goon released the song Who I Smoke. The dispute reached unprecedented heights. Who I Smoke, which sampled Vanessa Carlton's 2002 hit 1000 Miles, featured a chorus that named deceased members of Fulio's crew. Shortly after, Fulio responded with a song titled When I See You. The song's music video, which provocatively featured Fulio dancing in a cemetery with pictures of Ace's deceased brother and friends, was released alongside a news report about the 2018 incident that claimed Young Gein Ace's life. Since this, their feud still occurred but wasn't as prevalent as it once was. Fast forward to 2021, and Young Gein Ace appeared on Vlad TV, and there was a viral clip where he spoke about the beef with Fulio ending. Care, you know what I mean? You know, see you when I see you. It, it, it wasn't like that was not the, the response. Uh, he's it, it sounded like he wants to somehow work things out. Are you open to work, working things out with him? He want to work stuff out because he know he don't know me for real. So it's like, like I say, like he don't like he, he got what he wanted. Like he got the like he got the. The fans, like, you know what I'm saying? He got it, he, he went up, so now he got what he wanted. So now it's like, oh, woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty evident from that clip alone. Young Gein Ace wanted no part of squashing the beef and knew it would end with something like this happening. The fact he released a music video diss track within one day of Fulio passing shows the mentality he had. Dropping a diss song the same day your op died, that's some serious work ethic. This is demonic drill. He didn't even let the man make it to the morgue sheesh. Even the feds weren't expecting this one. Before we go any further into the video, do you guys think it's likely Young Gein Ace will take the fall for this tragic passing? As when you look at how all the events unfolded, it isn't looking good for the guy. Or will he not get linked to this case? Comment down below. In another interview with Fulio, he even felt comfortable talking about the constant bounty that is on his head, which goes to show how shocking Hyde circumstances were. Are we talking big money, or is it just is this just bullshit, or? I say it's, it's a pretty penny. It's so like, it's a pretty penny. I mean, it is around what what a hundred? Uh, I heard that. I heard it fifty one time. I heard eighty one time. Yeah, I heard a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no telling if it's true or not, but I heard a lot of shit. Shit. Criminal lawyer Bruce Rivers offered his opinions on the matter. Rivers frequently responds to diss tracks and other legal issues on YouTube. Rivers' previous reactions were to Who I Smoke and When I See You. As a result, the attorney was somewhat familiar with the circumstances. Rivers makes it apparent in the video below that Young Gein Ace's diss track might turn out to be a bad decision. For Rivers, once the probe gets going in earnest, this might even be proven. Rappers have been debating the use of lyrics in criminal cases for the past few years. Some claim this violates the First Amendment's protections of free expression. It's freedom of expression after all. But as Rivers points out, authorities might attempt to defend the song's use in their case if the lyrics discuss a particular circumstance. As of right now, Tampa police are looking into the matter, and the chief of police has promised to make an arrest shortly. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.